doctor in the house. Hey, doctor. Hey, hey, hey Jen. Hey, how are you? Good evening. Good, good. How are you? I'm good. So how's so the ro word in the street? The word on the street, and I want to talk art, and uh, what is it, and bring that to the street. I'm calling in as Fred Carroll, the artist, tonight, and uh, I want to discuss this art thing very seriously clinically. I want to do the old uh, journalist's test to it, the old who, what, where, when, why, like that. So, uh, art, what is it? Who is an artist? What is the place of art and artists? And uh, what's it worth? And uh, why would one do it? And I'm going to presume to answer all, the, all these questions very briefly. Okay, art, what is it? Like, we've discussed that. It's when you <coughs> take a thing to a certain level, do it with total attention and the, so to speak, heart in it. Now, who is an artist? Well, that would be someone who does that. Now, there's the culinary artists, the martial arts. Um, that is, one guy's breaking bricks, another guy's an artist the dance arts, and then there's, you know, painting per se, which when we say art, we tend to think of painting, which I gotta say something about that. I sort of speak, don't believe in like that kind of art in a sense. But so, okay, what is the place of art? Now, uh, tyrants have always feared poets and artists. Mm. I can't get away from that. Um, Iggy Pop has a line that says, you know, you can say what you want, there's nobody there, but Meanwhile, by and by, people lose their life for running their mouth. And uh, drastic political regime changes, like the Chinese Cultural Revolution or like the Nazis, they typically like totally bust a move on the art. Some stuff completely disappears, you know, and there's typically art thematic to these things. So, um, there's a thing that artists tend to work for free, like, um, I mean, you could be a carpenter and you could do it on an art level, but if you are a poet or someone who just does a thing which doesn't involve like cooking or making a building something that is just per se art, useless, like dance doesn't feed anybody, but let's say you just dance or paint or talk or sing Phil Oaks or Bob Dylan, an artist like that, uh, you can be terribly dangerous. Now, once you start getting paid, you potentially lost like a lot of your potential danger. Not that you can't still be dangerous after you get paid, but once you have like the fear of losing your paycheck, that could change you. Interesting idea. That's basically the nut on that. And then um, I want to jump real quick. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking I, I call myself Fred Carroll the artist because I, uh, my, my cartoons have become currency. I turned them into coffee and omelets over at O'Rourke's. That's Brian beautiful. O'Rourke. I have to mention, I don't want to violate WESU's mission statement by doing like a crass commercial. But Brian O'Rourke is a sponsor of the arts. He's very generous with the buttonwood. Gives us their delicious cakes for uh, our events, which he gives them to us for free. And I, Fred Carroll, am caffeinated and sustained. Thank you, Brian O'Rourke and O'Rourke's. Well, you're very I blessed would, for that, right? I would be remiss. And yeah, he appreciates my cartoons. He's got like 150 of them. I was going through them. I, I like love my own work. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, now, you're an artist, Jen, of course. I am an artist of sorts. When are you going to paint like a telephone pole or something? Uh, or a broom? Will you paint a broom? Uh, would I paint a broom? You know, I haven't been painting. My arts lately have been in other areas. Like, I was thinking Is that, that a yes or a no? Come on. W well, yes. I, I All right. <laughs> I will get you a broom and you will paint it for me. You will be the third one. Pierre was the pioneer. Then this kid, uh, Sean Patterson, painted several more uh, graffiti style. He's actually like doing, you know, uh, community service for graffiti, you know, so we're putting him to good use here. He's painting my bums with brooms brooms. But yeah, you got to do one too. When I had a radio show, I had like all the various talents at the, at the show pitch in with their, uh, you know, to do promos. And you definitely got to paint a broom. You are very good with a paintbrush, Jen. Oh, I appreciate that. It's yeah, it's you know been it a paint. while for me to pick up a paintbrush. Oh, never mind. It's been a while. I'm sure you could ride a bicycle too, right? Oh, well, absolutely. Absolutely. So anyway, we must be coming up on the air. We definitely the are. Hour. We definitely are. Um, I'll say good night. Uh, thanks again. It was a great Monday night. Open mic. Good to see you again. But for the one of a thing is it's true um, value appreciated. 
All right, thanks for your time, Jen. By the, uh, did you think that got that camera straightened out or what? I, I, I got the camera rolling. <laughs> All right, great. Look forward to seeing the video of this call. All right. Thanks. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you very much. You're listening live, live in real time radio. Thank you, Dr. Freddie H. Carroll, for calling in with the street report and arts on the street. And I think of myself as an artist in many ways, beyond the paintbrush too, but the art of raising a family and motherhood and being in a community, the art of making theater and the art of making radio, the art of love and peace. It's, it's, there's art everywhere.